Hey there! Welcome to Life Noggin. As you know, I've been developing a machine learning system called Qbot 9001. Its intended purpose is to ask thought-provoking questions about the world. Video ideas don't grow on trees, you know. Unfortunately, there are still a few bugs to work out. For example, Qbot seems to have picked up a fluency in contract law for some reason. Long story short, I'm now legally committed to answering any and all questions that Qbot asks me. For example, Qbot asks, how might I raise an army of grizzly bears with human arms? It is my wish. <laughs> and uh, this is why I live in fear. <laughs> or it would be if, if I hadn't signed that non-disparagement clause. So in this video, follow me as I become complicit in my rogue invention's plot to rule the world. What Cubot wants is a human-animal hybrid a chimera. It's a word the ancient Greeks coined to describe a fire-breathing, lion-snake, goat-dragon thing. It's pretty sweet if you ask me. No such creature ever existed, of course. Uh, uh, but <laughs> that doesn't mean that it's impossible. Nowadays, it's easier than ever to introduce permanent genetic changes to an animal using technology like CRISPR. And things are moving really quickly. Scientists have grown sheep, pig, and monkey embryos containing some human stem cells, which are capable of turning into any tissue or organ under the right conditions. For some researchers, the hope is to harvest human organs from chimeral hybrids to use as transplant donations, but that's still a ways off, partially because these tests are ethically fraught and highly regulated. It'll probably take ages before a bear-human hybrid can be successfully brought to term, even longer before scientists can direct human stem cells to grow into specific limbs. Okay, so what if we just transplanted human arms onto an already living bear? Well, to date, doctors have performed more than 80 hand or arm transplants from human to human. It's an incredibly complex process. The human hand consists of 27 bones, at least 28 muscles, three major nerves, and two major arteries, not to mention the various tendons, veins, and soft tissues. Reattaching all these parts can take up to 10 hours of surgery. During recovery, patients are given medication to suppress their immune system from attacking the foreign limb like an infection. These immunosuppressants leave the patient susceptible to infection and put them at a higher risk for cancer and a shorter life. So, human-to-human -human transplants clearly involve a lot of risks, but at least people share common blood groups and relatively similar immune systems. Bears, on the other hand, well, don't. Their systems are most likely too different from ours for a transplant to be viable. So, yeah, if bears had human arms, it, well, really wouldn't work out. And even if they did, in my personal opinion, I feel like bear arms would be much stronger than human arms. You're probably better off adding some mind control device so you can get the bears to do whatever you want. Wait, why am I entertaining this? I'm gonna stop. Sorry, Qbot, it looks like world domination is gonna have to wait. I'll continue answering your questions, but could you add something in the contract that will let me go get pizza bagels? Because I'm really hungry. So do you have any wild questions that you want me to feed into Qbot? Let me know right now in the comment section below and help Qbot spit out even more amazing questions. Have you ever thought to yourself, what if humans migrated like salmon? Well, Qbot has asked that question, and you can find out the answer by watching this video. At some point along the journey, certain salmon stop feeding, and their insides begin to break down. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.